My guests today are fighting about their dysfunctional family affairs. Please welcome Stacy to the show. She says it's time to call it quits. Why, Stacy? What's going on? Um, well, Jerry, I am here to tell my fiance that I no longer want to be with him. I'm not in love with him. How long have you been with him? Uh, Ten months. So, well, that's pretty quick to say yes to a marriage. But anyway, what? Well, so what happened that made you make you fall out of love? Um, well, I actually met him online. Um, oh. You know, I, he was not my type at all. Uh, too skinny, uh, too ugly. <laughs> was well, not my type at all. Was his picture online? It was. It was a picture of someone else? No, it was not a picture of anybody else. But he seemed like a really nice guy. Um, so I said, what the hell? Went ahead, gave it a shot. Um, and, and so you went out with him, but you kept your eyes closed the whole time? <laughs> Something okay. like that. Yeah. So um, uh, I went. I went ahead and just. I went out with him. Yes. Um, I moved in with him ooh. because he took care of my son. I like to party, go out with my friends, um, and he took care of my son. You well, know. So I basically so used him and took advantage of him. Do you and feel bad about that? No, I don't at all. He yeah. allowed me to, so I used him, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Oh well. But you were going to marry him. I was. So, so you're here to tell him that it's over. Is yeah. there someone else? <laughs> um, yeah, I have been sleeping with my ex-boyfriend. Oh. Okay. Well, first of all, why did that relationship break up? Um, well, back in the day, we were just kids. Um, you know, it was based on partying and. Um, Things like that, and I just, I didn't want to be with him at the time. I ended up cheating on him with somebody. And so, you know, I just went ahead and dated around and things like that. I wasn't ready for a relationship. And are you ready for one now? Um, I can definitely see myself in a relationship with my ex-boyfriend now, yes. All right, now who's Justin? Justin is my current Oh, he's, oh, so he's the one that you're going to give the bad news to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, he's outside the studio, so he hasn't heard this, so let's bring him in now. Here's Justin. Justin, nice to meet you. Um, after the show, we're going to get you something to eat. Uh, I'm just joking. What, uh, no, because people are here a long time and they don't get, there's not much food in the green room. How long have you guys been together now? Ten months. And how did you meet? On an online site. Oh, online, right, yeah. right, uh, right, online. And what, when you saw her online, what was it that attracted her to you? It was actually her dependence to take care of her son all by herself. And, and, and you're, you've got the kind of personality, which is nice, which is you want to help people. And, and taking care of her children, was, uh, her child, was something you enjoy doing? Yes. Good for you. Stand-up guy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but you don't know why you're here? No. Oh, okay. So, what do you want to tell him? Mm -hmm. I mean, he really seems nice. Well, I brought you on the show to tell you that I'm not in love with you. I'm never going to marry you. To be honest, I basically think that you're a no! What? I'm in love with my ex-boyfriend. What the hell? What was there that made you ever want to be with her? I mean, she seemed so cruel and harsh. That's what's surprising. I mean, everyone's on your side, OK? Everyone sitting in the audience is saying, wow, what an awful thing to say to a guy. Because you, you've been helping her with her child, the whole thing. So you're the good guy here. But then you, and you there, you hear him. 
and when she talks like that, is this just a shock to you, or has she hidden that side of her the whole time? Yeah, it was a shock to me. I really thought she loved me. I mean, I, you know, I've known you here for two and a half minutes, and, and you really seem like a straight stand-up guy. You do. Come out with me. Because I, I want to talk, I want to talk. Honestly, her. you can be with who you want, obviously. Right. Yeah, so that's, that's not the issue, right or wrong here. What I think people are getting upset about is how cruel you are to this guy, who just seems like, if, if, he has, if there's a complaint, it's he's too nice. Well, why would you be mean to him? Why would you, you know, call him what you did? Well, when you cheat on somebody and they take you back or you leave them for somebody and they still take you back, you're bound to do it again. I mean, if he allows it and you take advantage of somebody and they allow you to do something like that, then you're going to do it again, right? Well, then, <laughs> then, don't be, then don't do it. Or be honest and say, you know, the love isn't there and I'm moving on. That's the only part I don't get. It's, you can be who, with whom you want. I just don't get the cruelty. It was just like, whoa. It's not like this guy's ever been mean to you. He's taking care of your kid. That's what living babysitters are for. Oh, no. Do you want to say anything to her? I mean, this is your chance. Say, say what you feel. Be... I love you. I want a family with you. As long as it stops, I'll take you back. I'll trust you. I just want you in my life. I don't want to be with you. I'm in love with John. What don't you understand about that? I don't know why it's coming down to this. Because you don't ever want to have fun. I like to party. I like to go out with my friends. You don't do anything with me, Justin. You're boring. I don't want to be with you. I love you and I love your son. And I'm not going to have him tuck down my life because you want to be with some other guy. Well, I'm sorry, but that's what it came down to. I don't want to be with you. Who is Donna? Oh, God, that's my mom. Oh! All right, she's here. I don't know what her position is. Here is Donna. Then oh act my. like an adult. Are you acting like an adult? Are Stacey, you acting like an adult? This man loves you. I don't care if you love him so much, you take him home and be with him. Oh. You need to really straighten up, Stacey. I've been through this with you for years. You've been Rosemary's baby. I have been through the drinking with you. I have been through the smoking pot with you. I have been through teen pregnancy with you. I don't like all I do. If you I put as you much up. effort in a Finding a job as in the being a whore, then you would you have what? enough money. If it wasn't for you, I could have enough life. money to live on your own. Uh, really? If really? it wasn't for you, I could have a you're life. Like, you're my mom, I'd be the Yeah? If I could worry about my own life if I didn't have custody of your you son. You do anything you for have, him anyway. You have custody yes, of your son? Yes, I do, Jerry. Yes, I do. I have had custody oh. of her son for four and a half years now. What? Absolutely. You know what? Okay, Jerry, started out 17, teen pregnancy, okay? I'm sure. there for her. I'm there for her. But you know what? Grow up. You're 24 years old. Oh, it's time to grow up. <laughs> Give her stability. And he she is in love with her son. Critical because she smokes pot too. Yeah. Well, you yeah. have no idea what I do. Uh, so who's John? Oh, your ex. Yeah. That's Here's the one John. I want to be with. <laughs> you, you, you know what? You know what? What? You know what? You're a loser. You're no, a loser. Me like that. What do you want with her? What do you know? Just to drag I, I, her I down. Her. Oh, you love I her? I love her. You love her? Yes. What? Well, how do you love her, John? How, how do, do you? you love her? How do you the way you I treat her? I have taken care of her all her life. I have done everything to treat her like don't at the, the same time. What a family with, and you can't do anything about it. We will raise together. You're going to say he's a good influence for your son? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I you am. drink, you smoke pot, you lie. Lie about what? What am oh, I lying about? Gee. 
You came on to me like you were so, I'm the good guy. I love your daughter. Take me to get us furniture. We're moving in together, and I'll pay you back, I promise. Five years ago! Where's my $65, John? Guilty. Shut it up! Shut it up! How many divorces have you been through? Get out of my way! Get out of my daughter's way! Get out of my daughter's way! You! Get out of with you! Get out of with you! my face! I'm so tired of it. What do you want to say? Anything? If she wants to be with them, she can be with them, but if... Me and Donna can raise the kid by ourselves. That's right. I'll stick That's by right, the kid. No, me and I'll Donna will raise my kid. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.